Hello, hello, and welcome to uh, the finale. Finally, we started with 32 contestants. We are down to four now. Okay. Uh, wow, what a great lineup because two of them have been here before. Two of them, uh, the first time finalist. One of them is actually making his debut in Quizzing with the Comedian. This is an insane lineup, and four of the funniest people in the comedy circuit. Also, too many good things happening tonight. Uh, uh, welcome everyone to the finale. Um, just a thank you note to a lot of people who've made this possible. Uh, of course, to the entire team that's working uh, behind the scene to make sure everything works fine from the ticketing stage to the show stage to coordinating with everyone to ensuring that the recording is done the, for the edit stage uh lots of people there like this manav manu akshay uh, priyanka jayant uh, everyone everyone who's working behind the scene and sandeep all of you uh, mad shout out to you guys uh, i know how uh, uh, i just make the lineup and i just get into making questions and you guys take care of the rest I remember last night when we finished, I gave edit feedback for the next final at around 2, 2.30 a.m. And then we started today morning with a premiere and then the uh, edition. So thank you guys for uh, uh, bearing with me. Uh, big shout out to all the uh, people who are working with me on questions uh, uh, from FAQ, which is the FMS uh, Delhi Quiz Club that um, I, I very proudly can be called a pioneer of, uh, which the current batch students, Vineet Anshuman, uh, and the second year, uh, Chaitanya, Pratik, anyone who's watching it or will watch it on YouTube later if I don't edit it out. Uh, and thank you so, so much, guys, I uh, for bearing with me every single night from 1 a.m. to 6, 7 a.m. when I keep sending you guys voice notes saying, as anyone that question, you quiz, college ka quiz, thodi chal raha hai, FM, FM, taki ji kashal mein chao, jaf re hint kon dalta hai, kya chal raha hai, and all, all that. So, but yeah, thank you, thank you. It's all worth it. Everyone is praising every single question that has come in this tournament. So yeah, thank you everyone uh, for everything. Uh, this has been a wonderful, wonderful uh, weekend. We can start the finale now. Uh, we'll call all the four finalists uh, one by one. Uh, the first contestant uh, is an ex-champion. He won the second edition of Quitting with the Comedians. He has been very dominant so far. Let's see what happens in the final. No pressure. Uh, give it up for Ashi Shakya. <laughs> ex-champion. I love it. It makes me sound so athletic. Love it. Real life, I've never athletics. Nahi kiya. Uh, from an ex-champion to a wonderful, wonderful uh, ride in this edition. Give it up for uh, Karunesh Talwa. Kya hal, kya hal. Thank you for having me and uh, all those things that you said that I didn't know were even true about me. <laughs> like <laughs> This is like uh, two days ago when I when I came on the quiz, I was like, oh, okay, let's see what happens. In my mind, it was that we will win and then we will do or uh, I think I'm about to get found out now. Like, diggaj log hai competition mein. To ab thoda. Still, still been a wonderful, wonderful journey. <laughs> oh, I've had the best time, man. Honestly, I've had a great time. Thanks for having me. Sure, sure, Karen. Thank you for coming. And on that note, someone uh, uh, who's called the Mumbai Indians of, uh, of quizzing with the comedians. And <laughs> so because of the <laughs> rate of success, uh, give it up for uh, someone from Mumbai, actually, Rohan Joshi. What's up? What's up? What's going on? The Mumbai Indians, I don't I don't think so, man. I mean, I am at best like the Thane Tigers. Um, <laughs> like, what, I, what I love about like quizzing with comedians as opposed to athletes is like when you hear athlete like talk before the game, it's obviously like, you know, I think I've got a good chance and, you know, I'm prepped and I'm focused, I'm this and that. Every single person I'm just like, you know, I think I'm finally going to be found out. I'm a fraud. Honestly, I'm just going to win. I'm Okay. On, on, on that note, uh, calling the last finalist, another wonderful run uh, This in this edition. Okay. He was part of the third edition. Uh, was uh, out in the quarterfinals and then this edition it's been a wonderful wonderful ride for him uh, first time finalist give it up for Sahesha yeah thank you guys thank you very much thank you very much very excited to be here with my lucky thinking cap yes you you look like grown up Doraemon <laughs> am I getting it right <laughs> <laughs> or the boy he with Doraemon like, I don't he looks know. like that kid that was always with Speed Racer <laughs> oh Speed Racer <laughs> guys that, that's the one guys if the guy who made a thinking cap beats us <laughs> <laughs> then the thinking cap works and you should really patent this idea cool uh, let's begin first question will go to Ashish the very first question of the finale X is a mythical character in European folklore who puts people to sleep and encourages and inspires beautiful dreams by sprinkling magic dash onto their eyes it's been the inspiration behind a set of graphic novels written by Neil Gaiman a popular Spider-Man villain and the opening track of Metallica's fifth album released in 1991. What are we talking about? 
uh, if you sprinkle a magic engineering textbook on anybody's eyes, they go to sleep immediately. Um, this is obviously uh, Sandman. Sandman, correct. <laughs> immediately start playing. Uh, <laughs> okay, stop. Uh, okay, the Sandman is correct. What a great start to the quiz. Ashish gets <laughs> ten points. Uh, the fun part about this question is when we did the mock run for this question, every contestant in my mock run got it for, from every different clue. Like one guy got it from Enter Sandman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Know, one from Graphic <laughs> Novel. I was like, how oh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Ashish gets uh, ten points there for Sandman. I come to Karunesh now. Karunesh, a unique property of Uru metal is that under the proper stimulus. It can emit large quantities of gravitons. <clears throat> On Earth, these fundamental particles have not been experimentally confirmed to exist. Oh. Gravitons are conjectured, conjectured to transmit the gravitational force. And if an object emits addi additional gravitons, it is equivalent to increasing its mass. Thus, now comes a clue. Thus, when an unworthy person applies an upward <laughs> force, the Uru metal increases its weight to exactly cancel this force. And it remains unmoved. This has been given as one of the possible scientific explanations behind certain something. What are we talking about here? Ah, uh, on Earth, these fundamental particles have not ex have not been experimentally confirmed to exist. Gravitons are conjectured to transmit the gravitational force. Okay, and if an object emits additional gravitons, it is equivalent to increasing its mass. That's when an unworthy person applies an upward force. This is the part I don't. Get. Under the proper stimulus, the proper stimulus would be an unworthy person applying an upward force. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know why the use of the word unworthy in inverted commas over there, but okay. The Uru metal, Uru metal increases its weight to exactly cancel this force. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So it emits the gravitons and it cancels the force in case an unworthy person applies that upward force. Mm -hmm. uh, this has been one of the possible scientific explanations behind this. I, I don't know. I pass. I, I really I have no clue. Okay, Karnesh passes. We go to Rohan. Um, can we can we use this metal to make EVMs? That would, be <laughs> nice. that would really be amazing. And can I give a visual answer to this question? Sure, sure. I knew it! It's the hammer of Thor. Waiting yeah. for a Thor reference. Is the scientific it's explanation? Really no one are you serious? <laughs> no oh man! <laughs> like hundred thousand percent, I know one note. Like no one. And Thor will be there. Vibrating in my seat, like Uru metal was coming out of my pants right so now. So Isilie, Papa Saya, so that you could sit in this room. You were not here two days ago. Dude, I, I have to. God. I swear to God, if after Sandman and if we had gotten this Mjolnir thing, and the third question is some in 1952, this guy was the voice viceroy of this telephone <laughs> in Andaman's nonsense. I would have just no, that, walked away. That that <laughs> shit will come to me. You wait. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> that is coming. And hence I just have to say, I, I I find it really commendable how quiet and respectful everybody stayed when they knew that there was no way I could arrive at an answer. <laughs> like, all you know, man. This He's isn't all some real shit. And, and I knew that all Rohan and Sahil knew this for sure. No, yeah, but yeah, I so all... resisted screaming Thor's hammer. Maybe that is Thor's hammer as a joke and everyone was like, haha, good joke, good joke. But damn it. Oh, if you do it, then you will kill yourself. Oh, oh, oh. Kevi, yeah. Kevi, 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 I would actually, I would actually trust Rohan with my life <laughs> to answer this question. Like, if if me being alive depended on him answering this question, I'd be like, yeah, he'll do it. He'll do it. That's fine. I feel like we see this very specific villain that makes such cute threats. Where it's like, answer yeah. this question. <laughs> Don't ever, or you die. The Marvel Darkest, Cinematic Darkest. Universe will get there one day, Jushi. It'll happen. Darkest, Darkest, timeline, Darkest, Darkest timeline, KV. Darkest timeline, KV. Hundred percent. Okay, so the, this was of course the scientific explanation of why, and that's why unworthy was in quote because ah. we can't lift Thor's hammer. Okay, uh, okay, uh, Rohan got uh, uh, the Thor's hammer funda, which means the next year it will go to Sahil. Uh, Sahil, the Youth International Party, whose members were commonly called YPs, was an American youth oriented, radical, and countercultural revolutionary offshoot of the free speech and anti war movements of the late 1960s. Okay, the thing about them is what they is that they employed theatrical gestures to mock the social status quo. For example, they would do things like advance a pig as a candidate for president of the United States and so on. 
Okay, so they will do ridiculous things essentially. In nineteen sixty, Vancouver Yippie Betty Zaria Andrew ran as the Youth International Party's candidate for mayor. Okay, one of her campaign promises was to repeal every law. Which law had she promised to repeal so that everyone could get high? Okay. Talking about a party called Youth International Party, they used to call themselves Yippies, radical, countercultural. From sixties, they used to challenge status quo by doing ridiculous things like uh, asking a pig, like advancing a pig as candidate for uh, POTUS. Uh, in one such thing, in nineteen seventy, their candidate in Vancouver, uh, she campaigned uh, about repealing laws, and one law that she promised to repeal so that everyone could get high. What law do you think she did? She promised to repeal. as part of her campaign i just want to say you see my fucking point you see how question 3 is <laughs> i'm glad i'm glad i'm part of this you know cuz it's not thor it's not uh, sandman uh it's up noodles uh i i don't know so i'm just going to go with a wild guess and pass it on uh smoking in public places was banned so she was repealed that law uh no going to shacks uh i feel instead like of saying going to shacks you can just say and the right answer is kar diya na jinx um is this um uh, so making pot legal so like law number 420 or article 420 or something like that uh no karunesh that's what that was what i was going to say shockingly um uh, <laughs> i'll just uh so that everyone could get high is that a pun like is that being used in another context i don't know let's see one sec i'm just trying to get to the question ha huh, okay vancouver yep betty zaria and ru ran as the youth international party said what was repeal every law which law had she promised to repeal so that everyone could get high mm-hmm. um did she promise to like decriminalize lsd or something uh no going to rohan So this is so. Wait to be clear. So wait, sir. Advancing a pig as candidate for the president of the United States. Then it says Vancouver. Is she was she running in Canada or was she running in America? In Canada. So oh, in Canada. Okay, cool. Both U.S. and Canada. Basically, had she like she said what? Had she said she just cancelled the police? Ah uh, no. Okay, we'll take one more round, starting with Sahil. <laughs> <laughs> so what we need to focus in this question is this is essentially a party that does ridiculous things. Okay, so don't think normal. Okay. like advancing a pig as a candidate for us is like really ridiculous so now like uh, karunesh said there might be some like some lateral thinking required okay so she promised that she will repeal a law a very famous law so that everyone could get high okay think a little literal also think a little lateral also and what do you think what she promised Kar- to repeal what did karunesh said karunesh said that high is probably a pun in this context yeah yeah oh, okay. sort of like okay. yeah I'm going to go with the wild guess over here. She would repeal the law of gravity. Perfect. That's the answer. Wow! wow. What the fuck? That wow, that's a great, great answer, man. What a great yeah. answer. She yeah. said she will repeal the law of gravity when she comes to power, so that everyone can get high. Nice. Oh wow! <laughs> I, I mean, uh, Sahil had to get that one, man. Come on. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the cap. High points. I'm like, what else? What else can be? How do people get high? <laughs> <laughs> this is the that's that's 10 years of like solid um, like working that muscle out <laughs> <laughs> that's actually our campaign poster i went on and this is her for mayor with her kid and a gun in the hand so that's yeah. the kind of thing that's that. amazing yeah entertaining yeah okay sahil got a uh, uh, law of gravity five points there next time it will be to ashish we talking about two people okay x and y Y, who was a close member of X's inner circle, became general secretary of the Communist Party in April 1922. Soon after, X began to regret that appointment. In a letter penned in December 1922 and January 1923, but not read until after his death, he describes Y as too rude. Okay. Now this is him. We are quoting him from the letter. This failing becomes intolerable in the office of general secretary. He wrote. adding that why should be replaced with someone who is more patient more loyal more respectful and more attentive to his comrades less capricious and so on in a separate letter 
X accused Y of having the gall to call my wife to the telephone and abuse her. Around that time, however, X suffered a third stroke that left him essentially unable to speak. Y went on to win a vicious power struggle to succeed X and become one of the 20th century's most famous names. Who is X and who is Y? I have some names. I'm just confused about the timeline. So give me a second. Mm -hmm. Y is a close member of X's inner circle. Okay, so X is two options. Okay, so uh, this is Lenin and Stalin. So who is X? Who is Y? X is Lenin and uh, Y is Stalin. Perfect. That is the right answer. That's the answer I was looking for. It is Lenin and Stalin. Okay, story of Lenin and Stalin. Uh, Ten points there to Ashish. Okay, Lenin and Stalin. Next direct will come to uh, Karunesh. India's first dash. Okay, India's first dash was initially started in a detention camp built by the Britishers to detain freedom fighters. It was here that on September 16, 1931, a group of guards opened fire and cracked the skulls of some prisoners with their rifle butts. Freedom fighters Tarkeshwar Sen Gupta and Santosh Mitra were shot dead. Yeah. Okay, so this happened in 1931 when the Britishers were here and it was used as a detention camp. In 1950, X was set up in Hijli camp, if that's the place that we are talking about in the first para. On April 21st, 1956, Jawaharlal Nehru formally opened X and he said, here in that, here in the place of that Hijli detention camp stands the fine monument of India, representing India's urges, India's future in the making. This picture seems to me symbolical of the changes that are coming to India. Okay. What are okay. we talking about? Oh, all right. Um, India's first dash was a detention camp built by the British to detain freedom fighters. It was okay. Tarkeshwar Sen Gupta and Santosh Mitra were shot dead. Both Bengali names. Okay. X was set up in Hijli okay. camp in 1950. Uh, 1956, Jawaharlal Nehru formally opened X. Formally opened X and said. Here in the place of that Hijli detention camp stands the fine monument of India. Monument of India. Representing India's urges, India's future mm -hmm. in the making. This picture seems to me symbolical of the changes that are coming to India. Ah, okay. I India's representing India's urges, India's future in the making, symbolical of the changes that are coming to India. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if this is a, literally a monument or if like monument is being used as a term to describe it by Nehru here. Like, I think, uh, I think the words India's urges, India's future, symbolical of the changes that are coming to India seem to hold more weight. So, this is a wild guess, but and uh, here in the place of that Hijli detention camp. Yeah, it's a wild guess and it's probably wrong, but JNU, Jawaharlal Nehru University. Uh, not JNU. Uh, mm -hmm. Is it IIT? Can you be more specific? Um, uh, uh, X was set up in Hijli camp uh, in 1950. Um, I think you want which specific IIT? Yeah. Oh man, what was the first IIT? Um, so the blank is IIT. Okay, India's first okay. IIT was initially started in detention. Ah. But I'm looking for. Is the, it Kharagpur? Sorry. Is it Kharagpur? It is IIT Kharagpur. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, 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 nice, 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 nice answer. IIT Kharagpur. Okay. <laughs> I was IIT made to detain prisoners. No, 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 no. It was I mean, the joke writes itself. Prisoner. Like what <laughs> she said. <laughs> But also what Ashish said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. IIT Kharagpur. Uh, picture Sadmi It's still there. The detention camp uh, parts are still there. If you ever go to IIT uh, Rohan gets 10 points for IIT Kharagpur. And I go to Sahil. Sahil, the Pandavas decided to spend the 13th year in exile in the Matya Desh. Yudhishthir became a sannyasi and an advisor to Virat Raja. Bhim became a cook. Arjun, a eunuch dance teacher. Nakul, a horseman. And Sahdev, a cowkeeper. Now, the problem is Bhim, however, did not know how to cook. So one of the first things he did was to chop up many different vegetables, boil them together, 
and top the dish with grated coconut and thus x was created extra hint for all of you is that x is also the name of an alternative rock band from kerala okay what are we talking about i know it um i'm just a little confused with the spelling but uh it's called oriel or oriel uh can you repeat how do i say o o r i y a l oriel oriel uh no not oriel going to ashish avial 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 i was ever looking for i can't give it it's okay it's okay it's okay it's yeah. okay, okay avial avial is the answer you're looking for uh 10 points to ashish avial uh yeah everything else was explained in the question avial is correct ashish gets uh, 10 points there and i go to karunesh right we are talking about an illustrious personality he is credited with discovery of the vaccine for a disease that afflicted millions around the world including india till a few years ago mm -hmm. but the first to make a vaccine from deactivated strains that is killed virus vaccine to prove the vaccine was safe he even inoculated himself his wife and three children his research was funded by public donation from the march of dimes foundation thus he refused to patent the vaccine when asked who owns the patent he famously replied well the people i would say there is no patent can you patent the sun thus relinquishing of an opportunity to make millions of dollars who are we talking about jo bhi tha bhai slam poet tha bhai ha ha order mashallah ah yaar ye i've heard this story but i don't remember the name of the person um albert einstein No, not Einstein. Going to yeah, I, I know that song. <laughs> um, of course, um, it's it's you know he who can't be named. You know he worked forty eight hours a day to, <laughs> and you know it's it it happened. Like so, he was like, "Are, uh, but uh, it is Doctor Salk." Yes, it is. Uh, it is the Salk in the polio. Yeah, the there we go. The polio vaccine. Talking about the polio vaccine. He's uh, the uh, less famous of the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> चेरियन <laughs> okay he also won the armstrong trophy for the overall winner in the four wheeler section very direct question who is he who is king of good times which i malaya that is correct 10 points to sahil <laughs> yeah. okay vijay good Martin. i finally i'm glad i saw bad boys billionaire mujhe abhi tak sirf unhi sawalon ka jawab pata hai jo mere se nahi puche gaye okay vijay malaya is correct sahil shah get 10 points and i come to ashish ashish did your direct during the seven years war are yaar kv yaar udhar vijay malaya ka photo french finances sorry i am being <laughs> annoying go for it uh during the seven years war the state of french finances became parlous the finance minister of the time was etienne d x who to save the french economy was forced to put in place harsh measures to raise funds okay the nobility and clergy were normally not called on to pay taxes but ex levied taxes on various luxuries which hit the wealthy because of this he was ridiculed and forced from his position his name became attached to anything seen as cheap when profile portraits became popular they were sneered at as cheap and the name stuck because his name was used to refer to anything called cheap anything that was cheap this gave rise to which word that gained popularity because portraits of such types were cheap and quick to make compared to painted ones and there's also a visual clue to help oh, okay there's a visual clue also this is a clue the the painting like it'll help me arrive at the word yeah it might help you so this word is only used in uh, uh, with respect to like these portraits or is it like a more generic usage mm, i will not tell you that now okay Is this caricature? Not caricature. Going to Mother Karthik. Uh, poster. Not poster. Going to Rohan. Is it silhouette? Perfect. Ten points to Rohan. Silhouette. What? 
अरे वो मैंने देखा था फोटो सी ना वो सिलुएट में हां सिलुएट देखा तो मैं सिलुएट में ना तो गाइस तो आई डोंट रियलाइज की जर्नल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक जर्नल इज कॉल्ड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एक्स वॉज आस्ट टू प्रेडिक्ट डेवलपमेंट ओवर द नेक्स्ट डेकेड ऑब्जर्विंग दट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ कॉम्पोनेट इन दीज सर्किट एट रफली डबल ईच इ he blithely extrapolated this annual doubling to the next decade estimating that micro circuits of 1975 would contain an astounding 65000 components per chip in 1975 as the rate of growth began to slow x revised this time frame to 2 years his revised law was a bit pessimistic over roughly 50 years uh, from 1961 the number of transistors doubled approximately every 18 months subsequently magazine started referring to this as excess law as though it were inexorable x who was born in 1929 in california us was american engineer he was also co-founder with robert noyes of a very popular like very popular company semiconductor firm before that he worked for a company called fairchild semiconductors till 1968 okay i want two things from you the company that he founded co-founded and the guy's name like after whom the this law is called I'm passing. I'm passing. I can't guess it. Okay. Okay. Sahil passes. We go to Ashish. <laughs> This is Moore's law and Intel. Moore's law and Intel is correct. Ten points to Ashish. Talking about Moore's law, Gordon Moore and Intel, of course, which is founded. Ten points there to Ashish. And now we come to Karunesh. I'd just like to thank Ashish for not letting that question pass to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like to thank a decision that I made in college. By going. <laughs> <laughs> the following conversation from a 2002 superhero movie. Okay, 2002 movie, superhero based movie. This is the conversation. X says, "Z, this is my father Y. Y says, 'I have heard so much about you.' Z said, 'Great honor to meet you, sir.' Y says, 'X tells me you are quite a science whiz.' And then a blank, a sentence. And Z replies to him saying, 'I read all your research on nanotechnology. Really brilliant.'" You need to tell me what is the line that's been blanked out above, and the big hint to all of you is that think mean. I mean that's the most popular place where we've seen this line over and over again, apart from the movie, of course. Uh huh. Man, I just I don't watch superhero films because I I got it, you know. I saw a few and I was like, okay, I get it. Ah, end of battle होता है, पहले loss होता है. Like it's never like the villain at the end is like, oh, I won everything, man. Like everyone's dead. <laughs> no, that's that's Superman. real life. I think that's why we watch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's real life. <laughs> that's why we watch the superhero movies. But exactly. X tells me you're quite a science whiz. Now I know the okay. What what pop culture related memes are there? One does not simply what the Lord of the Rings say, or the superhero film नहीं है. Or can it be considered a superhero film? I don't know. But what other superhero references or like film references do I even know? Mm. Science whiz. Mm. Oh. Oh no. I have a feeling this is Spider Man, but I don't really know what the line is. Read all of your research. Okay. X. Okay. X says Z. This is my father Y. And he says, "Okay, but so much about you, Z is like." You know, X tells me you're quite a science whiz. I mean, this could be. What's Peter Parker's fucking friend who looks untrustworthy with that sharp face, and his father who turns out to be a psychopathic villain by oh, the end please. of the film? Yeah, he has like. People with uh, like unnecessarily sharp features, like Conan O'Brien, they just look untrustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> so, somewhere, somewhere, other Malik is feeling I've very insulted. Angleism. I've never seen angleism before. Like, <laughs> this is a very specific form of racism. People with unnecessarily sharp features. Do, do, कभी Picasso का portrait देखी है बात वो पूरा triangle है. 
आई फील लाइक अगर अगर इतना इतना पॉइंटेड मूव है आपका तो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है बस दाढ़ी उगा लो थोड़ा सा राउंडेड ऑफ अटल बिट एक्स टेल्स मी और क्वाइट अ साइंस वेज आई आई गिव अप आई डोंट नो ओके करुणेश पी पास टू रोहन uh of course the correct answer is x tells me you're quite uh, peter tells me uh, sorry harry tells me you're quite a science whiz but did you know that i have studied entire political science um <laughs> oh, oh, oh. But the, the the correct answer is you know i'm something of a scientist myself yes that the and karunesh is right there karunesh yep right there yep 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 sharp yep. features yep. sharp features, sharp, sharp sharp features sharp. spiderman <laughs> uske yeah, dost sab pasa baat sab sab Wow, we sound so old. हाँ, वो strong वाला भी देखा है. Yeah, so Karunesh, I I love the deduction. Like you went to start with L O T R, then you went to Spider Man, then you went to Peter Parker, then you went to the character, then you went to the actor. That's beautiful. I actually, I actually also like the little existential interlude in the middle. Where he's like, is Lord of the Rings a superhero movie? Don't think I can't be. Yeah, like if you're from Middle Earth, if yeah. you're from Middle Earth, it's a superhero movie, dude. And Gandalf <laughs> fell pretty far, and he was still fine. So yeah, I mean. <laughs> That brings us to the end of the first half of the quiz. Uh, let's have a quick look <clears throat> and check at the score. Ashish uh, got Sandman. He got Lenin plus Stalin. He got uh, Aviel, and he also got Gordon Moore plus Intel. So Ashish is on forty points right now. So yep. <laughs> okay. Arun, <laughs> so you need to start scoring, but we have an entire second half left. So let's see. I am. Uh, I am Ajit Agarkar. Uh, In and in Australia, test matches right now. <laughs> Rohan, uh, Rohan uh, got Thor Hammer. He also got IIT Khadakpur. Uh, Mr. Sol, Bolio Vaccine Funda, Silhut, and uh, something of a scientist myself. So fifty points there for Rohan. Uh, Sahil got five for uh, Law of Gravity, and he got ten for Vijay Malia. So Sahil is on fifteen right now. Okay, shifting to Goa, Karunesh. Chalo. <laughs> <laughs> start with the second half own party over here <laughs> yeah i mean it's it's pretty clear like i'm i'm here mai <laughs> yeah mai masti karane ke liye baitha hu logo ko bas baki kuch nahi hai <laughs> no no will be jo log pata hai the 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 people who want to listen to me right now are the people who aren't watching this for the questions <laughs> that's who i'm here for <laughs> find your niche <laughs> uh okay starting with sahil now we are starting reverse in sibons sahil this is the list of uh, something non exhaustive means there might be other things on the list also but these are the most popular ones shaw prize in astronomy turing award in computer science fields medal in mathematics lasker award in biomedicine pritzker prize in architecture hasselblad award in photography millennium technology award in technology okay What do you think is common to all of them? Like, what is what connects these awards? Okay, Sahil. Okay, is it something to do with Apple products? No, not with uh, not Apple products. Rohan, is it as like it's not it's not something as basic as like each of these awards is named after the best in like their field, like in the sense that like Pritzker was an architect, Fields was a mathematician, like. Ah uh, no no no. Going to Karunesh. I mean, Millennium Technology Prize. Yeah, fair. I mean, all of these awards have a lot in common. Like, someone has to win them and all of that. But outside of, <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how else to connect them. <laughs> Give it a shot. I guess I don't know. But okay, uh, KV, can you just uh, like elaborate what the exact question is? Like, how? I mean, in what way should I connect them? There's something that's common to all of them. Okay. Okay. Uh, Yeah, that's what. Okay, <laughs> I mean, were they all won by the same guy? Uh, no, Ashish. Oh. That would be a ridiculously yeah, fucking smart guy. guy. I mean, there is. We have one of those. He must not be named. Yeah. Ah, true, true, true. Sorry, I keep forgetting. So, 
I haven't had my drink of you know what. <laughs> uh, is it that they're all worth a million dollars as prize money? Uh, no. Okay, we'll start with Sahil once again. Uh, so the hint that I'm giving to all of you is that they are all known as something. Okay, so let's start from there. The hint is not an individual winner or like their names, etc. Like the original names. The connect is that they are all known as something in their respective fields, which is the same thing. Okay. Oh, I think I okay. maybe got it. They are all, and I can't go beyond that because sure will be the answer. So they are all they are all known as something in their respective fields. Okay, that something is the same. Pioneers. Uh, no, going to Rohan. Is it? Um, are they basically like the Oscars of each of these? Right. Like, uh, no, Karunesh. They're all known as the something of their respective fields. Like the oh wait, are they the founders of all of these disciplines? And like, are they the people that started these dis disciplines or something like that? Uh, no. Uh, Ashik. Okay. Are these unicorns? And like, okay, I'm they're known as unicorns. Rohan was actually very close, but Oscar itself is a very limited field uh, event. It's limited to movies, so these are all basically Nobels of their respective fields. Oh. 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 There is no Nobel Prize for uh, astronomy or mathematics or architecture. Oh, or got it. Mm -hmm. so, Fields Medal is the Nobel equivalent in mathematics. Shaw <clears throat> Prize is the Nobel of astronomy. Right. That is Nobel of wow. photography. And full so, brain fart on that. Full, full. I right. see the iPhone camera had won the Hasselblad award, so I was like thinking then, but then I didn't know how biomedicine fit anywhere in Apple products. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the watch has that sensor that like yeah, senses. Yeah. Biomedicine got involved. <laughs> okay, uh, this uh, no one got any point on this. This was Sahil's direct, so next direct will be to Rohan. Rohan, this two that you see on screen takes its name from the French word for to shake together and was normally prepared by boiling oxtail, breast of beef, or pig's ears and tails with leeks, potatoes, cabbages, carrots, and onions. Now comes the main part. The, cha the chaotic nature of its composition has caused this name to become an adjective denoting a careless mixture. What are we talking about? Essentially, the, the name of the dish lends its name to a word or uh, to, to a word, uh, to an adjective which denotes a careless mixture in English. Tell me either, if you know one, you know the other. Uh, this is the stew that takes its name from the French word for to shake together, prepared by all these ingredients. Obviously, based on the ingredient, you can see the it's it's very chaotic in nature. Chaotic nature of its composition causes uh, cause this name to become an adjective denoting a careless mixture. What are we talking about? Denoting the adjective in English denotes a careless mixture, basically. Hmm. Like, is it a hodgepodge? Yeah, beautiful crack. <laughs> Whoa. My second answer was Bishmash, so this is great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told Bishmash, Hodgepodge, it is a Hodgepodge. This is called Hodgepodge. Okay, Hodgepodge. I was going to say stir fry and get on to the next one, you know. <laughs> I was very confident with casserole. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hodgepodge is correct. I'm going to Karunesh now. Karunesh, the image that you see on your screen, it shows an old navigational tool. Okay. Mm -hmm. This device gave rise to a nautical jargon X that is used even today. Tell me what did what did this old navigational tool give uh, uh, like gave rise to? Okay, guys, I'm doing this off my cell phone, so I'm going to you're going to see my face be become really big now, so that I can look at all this shit. Okay. okay. Uh, I apologize for the visual assault that's happening right now. Oh, it's cool. You've got really sharp features. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the log line lead weights. Oh, did it give give rise give rise to a nautical jargon X? Is okay. Is X an anchor? Uh no, not an anchor. Going to Ashish. 
So is it used only in a nautical context right now? Otherwise, also, but it has a very specific usage in uh, in nautical context. I mean, it's a word used elsewhere also. <clears throat> like outside of nautical context, we yeah, use. Yeah, but the context in in nautical, uh, like in nautical jargon, it means something else compared to what it means in like normal English, like outside nautical. <clears throat> is it like i know this is not right we can't is it a boy uh, no going to sahil no, no, definitely not a boy is it mooring uh, no going to rohan is it just knots it is not not oh like, fuck not, yeah it's, it's right not, there not to speed a unit of uh, you know wow. oh yeah uh, it's right there speed when it comes to uh, comes to yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 they put it in and they saw yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Unbelievably stupid right now. <laughs> that I feel so stupid. I was like, man, they come, they come, they come. Log weight, trailing. Man, man, let's go back in time. Give me sign. I can't man. believe. Like, I, I feel hoodwinked almost. Like the previous quiz was literally. Does this look like a fucking Death Star to you? Uh, who the fuck is that? Like guy on British TV who behaves like a big child? Oh, it's Mr. Bean. Like it was the easiest shit. I don't know. I don't know what happened to this quiz, man. <laughs> Let's try this. I feel like I came from a different country. You know what I mean? Like I feel like an immigrant on this panel. No, no. Okay, let's try this. Uh, this is for Karunesh. From June 2020 onwards, many media outlets started reporting a new real estate trend, especially in the US. Okay, we are talking about a new sort of real estate trend as buyers look to a future of working from home due to the coronavirus pandemic. Home offices with uh, pretty backdrops are seemingly in demand. the trend with the rhyming name dash dash so the first, both the blanks rhyme resulted in many real estate dealers adding pretty images of the properties to the listings well it should be assumed that a multi million dollar room would have a room with space for a chair with a wall behind it the trend is apparently real okay what is this trend name like the two blanks okay one second now huh? a uh, real estate trend Especially in the U.S., okay. As buyers look to a future of working from home due to the pandemic, home offices with pretty backdrops are seemingly in demand. The trend with the running name. So the the name is two words and they both rhyme with each other. Yes. Yeah, I'm just sitting here wondering what rhymes with desk or table or whatever. Like this is a hard one to just invent, like to just pull out of thin air. You know, it's one of those things you've got to know. Uh, uh no, you can you can deduce. Think of okay. how the world has been since last year and how people are working from home and all of us are working from home. Oh, is it like a, is it like a a Zoom room or something? Yeah, I don't know. Perfect answer. It is correct. Yeah, uh, that's the right answer. Looking for Zoom room. <laughs> Zoom room. Okay. Zoom. That's the first one I get, guys. Zoom room. Nice, After eighteen nice, unsuccessful nice. attempts, I managed to rhyme two words. Or one of them is the man. app. Or to start somewhere. Yeah, one of them is the app that we're doing this on right now. <laughs> <laughs> And the second one is of the place you are in. You are in. Exactly. Right <laughs> That's why I said you can deduce it. Don't don't. <laughs> It's correct. Karnesh gets ten points. Well Next time we'll go to Ashish. The origins of this dessert goes back to Persia. It is said to have made its entry into India through the Muslim merchants and royal dynasties like the Mughals. That invaded the country and settled here. ये पहला सवाल है जो मेरे टॉपिक ऑफ इंटरेस्ट में. I'm sorry to interrupt, but yeah. <laughs> there are other variants of it served in many other countries like Bangladesh, Myanmar, Thailand, Mauritius, etc. In Thailand, in fact, a drink named Nam Mangla is very much similar to this dessert. There's a famous Hindi idiom closely related to the dessert that speaks about something of a person, usually of higher level of importance slash authority, being <laughs> shredded just like this dessert. Right now, Shakya is drawing diagrams of every Indian. Yeah, dessert. really. He's like Nan Kathai me kya hai? Like Shakya's notebook looks like my rough work column in every maths paper. Like, <laughs> just so many paths that lead nowhere. So many times, so many things that circle back on themselves. So many <laughs> questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> been there, been there. 
I'm close. Uh, I think, <laughs> yeah. or I would be fucking far apart. What are you writing? It's it's freaking me out, man. <laughs> Arey, I'm just write like desserts <laughs> and idioms. Which so dark the corn of man. <laughs> <laughs> What mathematical fucking dessert related equation do you have in that notebook, dude? Like, uh, I didn't know this is how you win quizzes, dude. Like, this is a full time job. <laughs> it's something to do with like. Peta and Sate and something like that. Ah uh, no, going to Sahil. Is it something like Futa Hua Faluda? Uh, like I don't know Hindi idioms. Uh. Ah, uh, I'll give you a chance to improve your answer. Okay. Yeah, ये वाला तो. This was the only question I've seen so far where I'm like, हाँ ये हाँ. Futa Hua Faluda. Yeah, I'll have to go to Rohan. Rohan. इज्जत का फालूदा हो गया. Oh, इज्जत का फालूदा. Oh, something off or this yes, thing? Yes, yes, Fuck. yes, yes. Falooda is the desert you were looking at. इज्जत का फालूदा यार. Shredded. Uh, that's actually a shop in Bandra, I think. Yeah, literally shredded drink. Oh, I read it wrong. I read it yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something yeah. off a person. I was like. Persons involved in it. I was quite mm-hmm. you get ripped and like shredded. Oh, the question I looked at, I was like, yeah. "This is no, no, no." I read the question wrong. I missed that word. Shit, man! I answered this incorrectly. Such me, Izzat ka faluda ho gaya. See? <laughs> hey, but at least you got faluda, dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I should give you some point for the dessert. Okay. Uh, so I'm giving eight to Rohan and two to Sahil. Okay. okay. Eight to Rohan and two to Sahil. And the next direct will be to uh, to Karunesh. Okay. Yeah, so, come back. In this book uh, named "Return to Life" uh, through Contrology, the author presents his methods as the art of control movements, which should look and feel like a workout, not a therapy, when properly manifested. What is the name of type of workout which is named after the founder? And I've also given you the book cover, just in case. Can I just ask why? इसके पहले इज्जत का फालूदा पूछा था यार ये क्या हो हो रहा रहा है है In this book uh, named "Return to Life Through Contrology," the author presents his methods as the art of controlled movements, which should look and feel like a workout, not a therapy, when properly manifested. What is the? Is it calisthenics? No, not calisthenics. Ashish, Pilates. It is Pilates. That oh, is. should have thought about that for a second. Went there to Ashish. Uh, Pilates is correct. And now I go to Sahil. Sahil, the guy you see on the screen is a. Uh, his name is Colin Dash. Who was a pilot in the United Kingdom's Royal Air Force, and is the brother of a famous Scottish actor. Okay, it is an often repeated internet rumor that he used the call sign OB2 in the Royal Air Force. Just tell me who is his more famous younger brother? Ewan McGregor. Yes. Sahil gets uh, ten points there, and I go to Rohan. Rohan, I'm talking about uh, uh, an Indian place. Okay, Emily Dash was an English poet and novelist. Who gave witty pictures of English life in the early 19th century? Born in Westminster, she and her sister Fanny travelled to India, where her brother George, who was the first Earl of Auckland, was in residence as Governor General. She wrote accounts of her time in India, later collected in a book, in a book called uh, "Up the Country: Letters Written to Her Sister from the Upper Provinces of India." While the emphasis of her Indian writings were on uh, travel descriptions, local colour, details of the ceremonial and social functions that she attended. Emily also provided a perceptive record of the major political events that occurred during her brother's term of office. Brother was the governor general. Now, what Indian place was named after Emily and her sister Fanny, which might catch most of us by surprise? Hey, Fanny. <laughs> <laughs> we have we have reached that stage of the night. We're there, we're there. <laughs> we're there again. How the fuck did we go from OB two to this? Like, yeah. Ah uh, man, is it Dalhousie? Not Dalhousie. Going to Karunesh. 
Um, that was one of the couple of guesses that I was grappling with. <laughs> uh, uh, is it Dehradun? Not Dehradun, Ashish. Is it Masuri? Not Masuri, going to Sahil. Those were my three. Place. Sorry, Sahil? Connaught Place. Not Connaught Place, not Lord Connaught. Okay. I'll give you a hint and uh, we'll take one more round. So, the thing is, when you look at upper provinces of India, I think most of you thought you have to go up north, but relatively upper. Okay. Look at British Empire. So, it's basically not south. Okay. In mm. sorry, and, sorry. Can you repeat that again, please? I said, when you say upper province of India, all of you start talking about Delhazi, Missouri, <laughs> etc., etc. So basically, don't go th- that north. It doesn't mean for oh, them. Oh, I think British Empire. So mm. north is basically anything that not south. So okay. The second hint is a uh, sport. Okay. Sorry, the second hint is what? Sports. Sports. Yeah. Sports. Act whenever Rohan is ready. Sorry. Pass. Okay, Rohan passes. We go to Karunesh. I don't know what it has to do with sports, but because Rudki sounds like it could have been derived from an English surname, Rudki. Uh, no. And it's not quite up that high. I don't know. I have two options because you said sports. Mm-hmm. How do you have two options, man? That's the second. I mean, time I, I could have two wrong options. <laughs> <laughs> but that, but dude, that is sports. enviable to me right now. Are North India may I mean sports which I got two cheese at the bath. But might be completely off now. Sports. No? Is it is it Merat? No, going to okay, Sahih. then it's maybe the other one. Yeah, yeah. We can, we can ah, I said I have no idea. Ah, okay. Uh cool. We'll close this. This is the not a city, okay. This is and sports, I, I think probably the most iconic name in Indian sports. The answer is Eden Garden. Oh, oh. So Eden hey. Garden was seen after I the- see now why you say that may surprise us all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, no, no. It surprises how we were so indeed. stupid. Oh yeah, yeah. I was thinking of like, like fund up other, but it like I got confused with like up north, but yeah. Yeah. No, I that's still pretty far up, KV. That's still pretty fucking far up. <laughs> yeah, I was I was thinking of merit me sporting goods bante, Jalandar me sporting goods bante. So that's when oh. you said just think not north. I was like, surely Emily Bhopal is not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to find Emily <laughs> Rookie. <laughs> no, Emily I thought it must be like all. I thought it must be like Roar or Roar or something. Ah, okay, like fair, fair, fair. Yeah, I but like I, I was beyond the point. I was thinking, yar, kaun se shahar ka naam lacrosse pe rakha gaya? Pata karte hain. You know, soch toh. Koi milta hai. Koi Smith Ganj hai kya India mein? Smith Ganj. Actually, Eden Garden, the stadium is named after a garden. Yeah. Eden Garden, and that garden was named after the Eden sisters of the of right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this was Rohan direct. So next question will will be Karunesh direct. In nineteen ninety-seven, these are three people who did something. Okay. The three people said that they own it and claimed they had documents to prove it. They said that we inherited the planet from our ancestors 3000 years ago. They told a weak hmm. Arabic language newspaper called Al Thori. These three guys are Adam, uh, Adam Smile or Adam Smile, Mustafa Khalil and Abdullah Al Umari. They filed a lawsuit in Yemen. Uh, in Sana, the capital of Yemen and presented documents to the country's prosecutor general which they say proved their claim. There was no word on whether they had paid the appropriate inheritance taxes. They demanded the immediate suspension of all operations until a court delivers a verdict. They also asked the main culprit to refrain from disclosing any information before receiving approval from them. Okay. What is going on here and what was the lawsuit for? So basically they sued someone, uh, Mm -hmm. three guys in 1997 and they said stop uh, whatever you're doing there, because uh, we have documents to prove that uh, we have inherited the planet from our ancestors 3000 years ago. And uh, yeah, so they sued someone to I want to know who did this, who, what was happening, what are they talking about? Take a second. So they're saying that we have inherited the planet from our ancestors 3000 years ago. So the planet will be the same until this case is not Something like that. Okay, like suspend literally all operations. Yeah. 
okay question related to the planning yeah they claim that they have documents to prove it okay they claim that they have the documents and uh, presented documents okay they filed a lawsuit they told the arabic adam ismail mustafa and abdullah filed the lawsuit in yemen and presented documents to the country's prosecutor general which say which they say proves their claim there was no word on whether they paid the appropriate inheritance taxes uh they demanded the immediate suspension of all operations until a court delivers a verdict they also asked the main culprit to refrain from disclosing any information before receiving approval from for the, from them mm-hmm. was the lawsuit against satan uh no was he the main culprit uh no i yeah, then i don't then i don't know what's going on yeah ashish <laughs> <laughs> i was hoping karne should take more time karne why did you take more time ma deta joke book set kar deta special chal raha hoga tera kuch kar de so uh because i so wait so they presented these documents to yemen's prosecutor general is that it uh yeah yeah okay so they say proves their claim so uh can like this whatever thing they inherited was it in yemen or what no not the whole planet no sorry sorry not they inherited the whole planet yeah they inherited the whole planet so that's why i guess something bizarre like satan because yeah, they yeah, clearly yeah, 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 yeah i don't know that's why wo to culprit pe quotes mein to aisa koi bizarre cheez hi hoga like a global warming thing they like stop all factory work <clears throat> stop all like emissions and whatever until not going to sahil Hi, Arif. Hello. Aim that they own the pyramids and they should stop all excavation near the pyramids. Ah, uh, no, not the pyramids. Rohan, that was my other answer. <laughs> okay. Um, is the culprit NASA? Okay. And like, are these guys basically saying? Also, no, like in a sense, are they basically saying that all work on Mars or this thing should be Beautiful. stopped? That, that because ah, they, they, they inherited Mars from they someone. Said, yeah, yeah, yeah. They said that oh, they oh, took oh. Mars and they they inherited Mars from their ancestors, and they sued NASA for invading Mars. Freaking hilarious! Yeah. <laughs> that is in the history of frivolous lawsuits. Yeah, That's amazing. <laughs> just <laughs> wow this is like the boat team boat prove that they owned mars <laughs> so they had some sort of documents maybe whatever <laughs> basically photoshop like, basically shubhrat aur who signed they those they documents like mad team mad team it's like a green fingered man <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah they sued nasa for invading mars okay uh rohan get uh, 10 points there i go to karunesh okay i'm talking about another a phrase okay this is a phrase that is often used to suggest that one should not presume to know the outcome outcome of an event which is still in progress okay the phrase derives derives its origin from a certain norm of medieval operas and is now used particularly in association with competitive sports the first recorded use of the phrase appeared in the dallas morning news in 1976 as shown below this is literally the first time this was used Despite his obvious allegiance to the Red Raiders, Texas Tech sports information director Ralph Carpenter was the picture of professional objectivity. When the Aggies rallied for a 72-72 tie late in the SWC tournament finals, "Hey Ralph," said Bill 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 Morgan, "This this is going to be a tight one after all, right?" said Ralph, and Ralph said uh, a line. Okay. It ain't over until the fat lady sings. Yes, perfect answer. It is. Oh, ain't over till the fat lady sings. Perfect, perfect answer from nice. Oprah. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. Nice. It points to Karunesh there, and I go to Sh- Ashish. Ashish, one theory behind this is derived from a tradition thought to date to the Second World War, when there were worldwide diesel shortages. As a result, a lot of kerosene was being used instead of diesel. The kerosene made the vehicles highly flammable and prone to exploding at the slightest accident. that is when these came up as a reminder to other drivers to be careful what are we talking about which was actually banned by the government of maharashtra in april 2015 ah uh, two options again yeah uh, 
Is it like horn okay, please? Yes, perfect answer. Of course, it's horn okay, please. Okay. Uh, horn okay, please. And, wow, uh, fantastic okay. answer, man. Super duper answer. One of the many theories are that you know people were using petrol, so they wanted people to honk him. But Ashok didn't ban it because it promoted noise. Promoted honking. Yeah. Honking. These are questions where I'm very happy that people get it. Okay. Uh, horn okay, please. It's correct. Shaq get uh, ten points there. Uh, we go to Sahil. Yeah. Uh, Sahil, I'm again talking about a phrase that originates with a comic strip of the same name, created by Arthur Pop Moment in 1913. The strip depicts the social climbing McGinnis family who try to match their neighbors, the X. The X were unseen characters throughout the strip's run, often spoken of but never shown. The idiom, however, has remained popular long after the strip ended. What idiom are we talking about? The hint is, of course, social climbing family who try to match their neighbors. Up with the Joneses. Yes, perfect, great answer. Oh wow! Points to uh, ten. Yes. To Sahil. That Kiri is the one. Joneses, uh, Joneses, Joneses. That is correct. When you try to keep matching up with other people, uh, who are of course. Uh, okay, great answer. Sahil gets ten points there, and that brings us to the uh, to the end. To the Ooh. end. Woo! Oh. Oh, what a what a what a eight, eight, what, a, quiz. Yeah, what a what a closely fought battle. Nobody knew which way it would go right till the end. <laughs> okay, uh, four worthy competitors equally matched. Jack had forty in the first round. Uh, in the second half, uh, he got Pilate and uh, on okay, please. So twenty more, and uh, Ashish Shakya ends on sixty points. Nice. Well done. Same as Shakya with twenty points in the second half uh, with Zoom Room and it ain't over till the fat lady sings. Twenty uh, plus zero, so Karunesh ends on twenty points. Sahil had fifteen in the first half. He got keep uh, keeping up with the Jonases. Uh, got ten more for uh, even McGregor and two more for uh, Faluda. Two more for Faluda. Faluda. Two more for Ijaz Kavala. Twenty-two. Uh, Sahil ends on thirty-seven. Om Joshi had fifteen in the first half. In the second half, he got hodgepodge, knots, eight for Faluda, and ten more for food NASA for invading Mars. Thirty-eight more, and he gets eighty-eight more. Uh, sorry, eighty-eight full. So uh, Rohan Joshi wins this final and also wins the first. Woo! Oh, well done, well done, well done, well done, well done. So good, man. Joshi is like fucking Hamilton. Thank you. Crazy. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. that was way more stressful than I'd like to admit. Uh, <laughs> now that's all I can say comfortably, conveniently. Uh, also, I would just like to say because I know the same comments of yeah, cheating, yeah, 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 good, yeah. I want to point out, uh, fucking like I have purposely set my frame in each fucking edition. Every match is time, so you can fucking see my hands. You can see my like everything. Don't know, don't be bored. Don't be bored. Rohan, you overthink it. Say, "Bold, yeah, man, you cheating. What are you doing? Ah, bold, you cheating. Yeah, yeah. But what will happen? YouTube comment. Oh, this, this, this yes, piece thanks. of paper. I'm going to frame. Like there are so many emotions that happened on this piece of paper. Yeah. For the last uh, four hours today, I've sat here basically since eight o'clock, and it's been great fun. As is the tradition, uh, I'm. Uh, we usually end with uh, uh, champions from last editions here. Two of them are already here, so I didn't have to call them. I'm calling the winner of the cricket and football edition, uh, Anirban Das Gupta. That's why. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Anirban, did you follow this edition? You followed I... some 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 games. Yes, yes, I followed uh, everything today and uh, a little bit yesterday and day before. Uh, Rohan Joshi, man, congratulations! <laughs> Thanks, man. Anirban, <laughs> uh, did you know the Eden Gardens question? Or... No, no, no. Oh, yeah, I. What? <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> Wait, go question. to go to Bangladesh now. <laughs> I came from there. आप तो बड़े heavy swimmer हो. On that note, let me call another past winner. Winner of uh, this might be a spoiler for many people who are watching uh, this and weren't there in the last taping. Uh, winner of the India Quiz Edition. Give it up for Biswa Kalyan. Rise, rise! Yo yo yo. Yo yo no, it's too crazy man. It's too crazy. We have to we have to do uh, murder of Ron Joshi. 
before did you did you follow this edition yes i did i watched everything yeah my favorite moment was uh, when uh, people could not guess izzat ka faluda and in the process some of the stuff i would like to take credit prophecy, for that for that that's all the self fulfilling yeah. prophecy <laughs> yeah yeah you know uh, is the the best uh, yeah if somebody gets a great question and then he answers it yeah that's good uh, like yeah some people have great guesses like karunesh had that one when the fire lady sings and all immediate answer and that's amazing but the best is when the answer is obvious and four people don't get it for two rounds <laughs> Like it's the kind of answer where you're sitting at home, you're like, "Arey." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and the answers keep getting more and more bizarre. <laughs> is it is it fatta or falu? <laughs> <What is that? laughs> Yeah, I got one more chance. I made it fuda hua falu da. So <laughs> and a dramatic improvement it was. <laughs> and it's so true because you know when we did the ignoble question in the mock prize uh, mock mock run, uh, the feedback was, "Yar, ye bahut direct question hai. Kyu puch raha hai? Ye kuch to kar, kuch aise kar." Ha. Ignoble was not answered in two rounds. Like eight. Yeah. Eight chances. That's people. hilarious. Eighteen questions. You asked. 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 पक्का पता था कि मुझे आता है वो और फैट लेडी बस बाकी सारी चीजें गैसेस थी बस मैन दैट दैट हैप्पी लाइक द डेनिम एंड जीन्स क्वेश्चन या पीपल वर लाइक यार ये तो सामने आंसर लिखा हुआ है द नेम्स एंड जीन्स एंड यू कुडंट गेट इट बट बट बेस ऑफ व्हाट वाज व्हाट वर योर सम सम ऑफ योर फेवरेट मोमेंट्स फ्रॉम सिंस यू फॉलोड ऑल 13 गेम्स एंड यू आल्सो मेड अ कैच राइट Yeah, obviously, first uh, is my uh, wife dominated the, her quarterfinals. That was uh, very nice. Uh, then, then she lost uh, miserably in semifinals. Very hard to watch. Karunesh is right. Karunesh is going to take any sort of revenge again. Karunesh, you come in India theme quiz. I will see you there. <laughs> उधर उधर सब क्वेश्चन सेज एक्स ऐसा <laughs> 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 and uh, at night we used to i think i have gone with kv or kanan one of them kv no. did we go there no no but when i went you gave me all this download yeah, yeah. i went there to perform yeah. so the jail cells are still there oh, like wow. uh, yeah you can see like a, it's like three four cells but they're still there when i did a show there last year so bachcho ka sabse zyada excitement ye tha ki wo aake bar bar bol rahe sir subah aapko wo detention camp dikhana hai subah aapko wo dikhana hai are theek hai uth jaunga yaar uth jaunga then i woke up sorry i i woke up and went and watched it and it is insane when you go it's like in middle of the college there are like three four aisa prison cells or uh, yeah it's it's quite quite in uh, quite a sight yeah. it's damn nice i really like this uh, kv again uh, like I know we've spoken a lot, lot about it, but thank you so much for making this lockdown yeah, bearable. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. Great job. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Okay.
Yeah, but I'm really vote like hoping for a losers losers championship. Please come on. Oh you yeah, fuck it. Everybody, you're a finally the 16 people from quarterfinals will blame you. Because Arjun, you're a loser. Bol raha hai kuch kaha. Final mein aake aa raha hai. It's a pretty narrow definition of losing. You won a lot and lost a little championship. Like you know, <laughs> losing finalists only championship. But I want to thank uh, thank thank all of you again. Thank you, Sahil. Uh, you've been a wonderful, wonderful, such a, such a fun party. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Karinwesh, for joining us for the first time and having coming all the way to the. Thank party. you so much for having me, man. I had the best time. Thank you. Thank you, and uh, Shaq, of course, always, always a pleasure hosting you. And we hey. have to do someday. I I'll make one something. I don't know what. What? Or, Rohan, you have to lose someday because there's no surprise anymore. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do my best, man. I mean, people are literally putting in the chat saying, quizzing with the comment. There's a tournament where people compete to lose to Rohan in the final. <laughs> I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very honored, and like I said, it it's it's crazy how much this matters to me. Um, so I take it as like pride. But like this is going to this pendulum is going to like hit me in the face soon, so it's fine. I have literally I have started doing a theme edition, so you can't participate. <laughs> Thank, thanks for that. <laughs> Cricket and football, India. Yeah. Three to you, Niyaga. And I'm sure movies, movies, Aake jit gaya. I like to, I like to announce, announce my retirement from quizzing. Retire when they are asking why, not when they are asking not why not. Like, <laughs> like uh, you will have to have a very specific quiz for Rohan to lose, like Hindi <laughs> Mohabre. You know that. So. <laughs> hey, just the palu da main answer diya in me. Hey. hey. <laughs> I don't think इज्जत के फालू देखो मुहावरा बुलाया जाता है yeah. <laughs> so man, it, it depends it depends on your अगर वो अगर वो लाइन मुन्ना भाई बोल सकता है तो वो एक्चुअल हिंदी से मुहावरा नहीं है I don't <laughs> think खादू की झप्पी इज नॉट या नो मेसर्स मेसर्स प्रेम चौधरी बट क्या थैंक यू सो मच निर्मान एंड बिस्वा फॉर कमिंग एट द लास्ट मोमेंट या थैंक यू कमिंग Five minutes nice. before the finale, the video will like fall. Both of them think, please, please, Raja, Raja, Raja. Bye, 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 bye. 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 B